Hello everyone, it is me, Two Sheds. Something you should know, I'm a big Spongebob fan. It was my favorite show when I was a little boy, and even now I consider it to be a very fun watch. However, it's hardly perfect. Believe me, when it's at its best, it's up there with some of the greats. But sometimes it's not at its best. And I think we should explore that side of Spongebob. So I've compiled a list of what I consider to be the top 10 worst Spongebob episodes. Let's get into this. Coming in at number 10 is Smooth Jazz at Bikini Bottom. This episode is about Spongebob and Squidward going to a concert to see Squidward's favorite musician, Kelpie G., and everything going horribly, Spongebob and Squidward lose their front row seats, and Patrick eats both their tickets and their backstage passes. And just to rub things in Squidward's face, Spongebob upstages him in front of Kelpie. The writers of the show really seem to have it out for Squidward, especially later on. And this episode is a pretty good example of that. So coming in at number 9, we have The Scent of Money. This episode is about Spongebob telling Mr. Krabs that Gary can detect money, and Mr. Krabs using Gary to get it from various places. This episode is a pretty good example for why Mr. Krabs is easily my least favorite of the main characters. He doesn't just take money from off the streets. He steals it from people and businesses. And he does it without remorse, even when it clearly makes Gary uncomfortable. And worse, he even forces SpongeBob to do crazy tasks around the Krusty Krab to make sure SpongeBob doesn't know. Yeah... Even when I was little, I didn't like Mr. Krabs very much, and I still don't, and this episode definitely shows, is one of the ones I show people to explain why. Number eight is Waiting. This episode is about Spongebob waiting for a package, and that's it. He's just waiting for a package. It doesn't sound exciting, and believe me, it is not. This is probably the most boring episode of the entire series. I'd personally give it a skip if you haven't seen it. Number seven is Ink Lemonade. This episode is about Patrick opening a lemonade stand and the customers discover that they really like Squidward's ink in the lemonade. So, but Squidward doesn't want to give any up. So Patrick goes out of his way to scare Squidward into giving lemonade. It doesn't sound fun, and it really is not. This episode is just really cruel towards Squidward. Honestly, I I could not... I really just don't like this episode very much. It's very mean-spirited and definitely one of the worst of recent years, if not the worst. Number six is The Great Snail Race. This episode is about... Uh, Spongebob entering Gary in a race and overtraining him way too hard. Like, I really just couldn't see Spongebob doing this to Gary, at least in any other episode. It's just really hard to watch, especially when Gary has to race and he's way too exhausted to race. I really... There's really just not a lot of good in this episode, to be honest. I really just tend to skip it. Number five is Pet Sitter Pat. This episode is about Patrick pet sitting Gary. And he just tortures Gary the whole time. If you thought what he went through in the Great Snail Race was bad, this is about ten times worse. Now, I've heard that Patrick's an idiot excuse for this episode, but I don't agree with that. An idiot would not be capable of doing this much harm, in my opinion. I really... This episode is just really not very fun to watch. And the ending of it confuses me to this day. It feels like the ending to a completely different episode. Did it, it's, 
it makes me wonder if they like cut an entire scene or something. This episode is just very bad and I do not recommend it. Four is one course meal. This episode is infamous in the SpongeBob community. If you're if you're familiar with the show, you probably already know, but this episode is about Mr. Krabs discovering that Plankton is afraid of whales. And he goes all out and terrorizes Plankton throughout the rest of the episode to the point where he actually gives up on life itself. This episode is really hard to watch, especially for me, because if you're wondering, yeah, Plankton is my personal favorite character. So watching him get terrorized like this is not fun at all. And once again, Mr. Krabs, as I said before, is my personal least favorite character of this show. And this episode, definitely another example as to why I don't like him. Three is The Splinter. This episode is another infamous one. This is one's about Spongebob getting a splinter at work. And Squidward tells him not to tell Mr. Krabs because then he'd force him to leave work for the day. Guys, point of advice, if you need help, just go get it. It's really not worth what Spongebob goes through in this episode. This splinter just pretty much debilitates him from working uh, with one of his two hands. And it's it's just unple it's an unpleasant episode to look at in my opinion. Definitely definitely don't watch this episode if you haven't already. Number two is stuck in the ringer. This episode is about SpongeBob getting stuck in his ringer and Patrick absolutely being a terrible friend. He does not care that Spongebob is stuck in the ringer. He just treats it like it's any normal day for him. Honestly, it feels kind of good when Spongebob snaps at him, but he's treated like he's in the wrong, even though we, the, the beginning, the, pretty much the first half of the episode was set up so that we sympathize with him. This episode just doesn't know which side it's on pretty much from the get-go. First it makes us want to be against Patrick, then for him. And throughout the whole thing, Spongebob takes a lot of abuse throughout it. So I just cannot see what they were going for with this episode. I truly can't. It would be the worst, but I think that title just by a bit goes to a certain other one. Number one is Choir Boys. This episode, this episode is about Squidward trying to get to a choir which he was accepted into and Spongebob going out of his way to stop him just to get him to listen to his choir voice. Squidward goes through arguably the worst he's ever gone through. And that's saying something. And while Spongebob just does not care, he... And combine that with all the not very pleasant to look at imagery in this episode, and you've got a bad one. And the end, where Squidward, as it turns out, because of course, isn't good, and Spongebob gets to be on the choir instead. This episode... I just refuse to ever watch it again, personally. And if you haven't seen it, good. Keep it that way. So those were my top 10 worst Spongebob episodes. Despite these episodes, I still think Spongebob is a great show. And I plan on watching the good episodes for many years to come. I do plan on doing a top 10 best Spongebob episodes at some point, and I've also been thinking about doing a top 5 best of seasons 6 to 8 at some point as well, but until I do, this is Two Sheds, signing off.